Hey guys, Rob Robillard from Toolbox Buzz, and we took a look at Makita's 18 volt X2 LXT brushless cordless recipro saw. It's one of a, it's a 36 volt saw, and it's one of 11 tools that offer the users benefits of the two batteries, the 36 volts. The double uh, 18 volt batteries basically give you extended runtime with additional power. And Makita went all out and they paired this 18 volt X2 package with a brushless motor and a redesigned crank mechanism. And these advancements basically resulted, like I said, in increased runtime, but also reduced vibration for the user. And we here at Toolbox Buzz think that the Recipro saw is a viable replacement for a corded saw. It really, really has the power. So when you pair this saw with two 6.0 amp hour batteries, the saw is the perfect storm for long time use, all day long cutting and we felt an endurance test. So we wanted to show you a practical expectation for runtime of this tool. So for a runtime test, we basically set up uh, two fresh 6.0 amp hour batteries, and we put a stack of two by sixes, spruce, kill dried stock, with the very last board with four embedded 16 penny bright framing nails. And we used an industrial bimetal nine inch by six TPI blade that Makita makes. It's their Swiss blade, Swiss made blade. Uh, it's three quarters of an inch wide and it's specifically designed for demo frame nail embedded wood. To simulate common reciprocating saw use, we ran the saw four times through the two by four stock or stack. And that resulted in about two to three minutes of continuous cutting. And then we would pause let the saw rest for 30 seconds. We ran a single blade through this whole test. We never changed the blade out for a fresh one either. And as far as the pausing, the 30 second pause, people ask us, why are you doing that? We felt that it's a realistic and fair way to evaluate the saw's runtime. Furthermore, our material selection reflects real world applications where you'd be cutting through two by lumber, often embedded with fasteners. Um, ultimately, we wanted to provide you guys with something that was a realistic, realistic expectation of runtime. Something, you know, could you use this thing, this thing all day long on the job? So with this, or I should say with this methodology, the tool never deactivated due to overheating. And the saw is equipped with a, um, a star protection computer controls. And those controls basically pr protect the tool, like a lot of brushless tools, from overheating overcharge, uh, over discharging and, and overheating and, and you know, uh, the battery from burning out. The test ultimately ended when we drained the batteries of juice. So here's the question, how did it perform? We all wanna know how to do. We got 165 cuts. Needless to say, the 6.0 amp hour battery with the saw has plenty of gas in the tank for all day use. As far as vibration and control, it's a, well, first of all, it's fairly compact. The vibration of the tool is noticeable. It's not overwhelming. The tool does not have an anti-vibration technology that Makita is absolutely known for. Um, so don't expect you know an easy free vibration ride. You're gonna you're gonna feel this tool when you cut. Um, and much like many of its competitors, it does not have an orbital kind of adjustment. Ergonomically and comfort-wise. Not bad, the tool's fairly compact. Like I said, it's, it's 17 and three quarters uh, an inch long. Uh, it weighs just over 10 pounds with two batteries, the two six uh, uh, batteries. Um, and the trigger on the tool is designed to be kind of a two finger trigger, uh, variable speed, not a super comfortable trigger for continuous operation. That's the one little ding that I give this saw. Uh, the saw basically has all the premium features we're used to. Um, First and foremost, an efficient brushless motor. I mean, that is awesome. Um, the efficiency uses energy to match torque and RPM to the changing demands of the cutting application, which is nice. Second, uh, it has all the bells and whistles that you'd pretty much expect from a top of the line tool. Well-placed LED light, retractable hook, variable speed trigger, electronically controlled uh, motor, to name a few. There is, um, Oh, as far as the LED light, the LED light actually shines through the shoe, the shoe plate, and it really lights up the blade and the workpiece very nicely. So nice, nicely done, well placed. Zero to 3,000 
um, strokes per minute for metal cutting and zero to 2300 for wood cutting. It has an, an inch and one quarter, one and one and one quarter inch stroke. Uh, toolless blade chain system, re I already said retractable hook, and electronic brake, which I love. It stops like boom. Uh, overall, this is hands down one of the best cordless reciprocating saws you can buy right now. Um, huge gas tank, premium features. I think the kit, the kit price is $400, so it's a solid value continu to continuing or considering the cost of each item separately if you, if you paired them all out. So we think it's a killer addition to the 18 volt line from Makita, and it's a perfect reciprocating saw for this cordless platform. I'm Rob Robillard. Please check out Toolbox Buzz for the full detailed review, and we'll see you next time. Take care.